and Blaney beats Harvick back to the gas. Harvick looks slow, and here they come. The winner at Pocono, Ryan Blaney for the Wood Brothers. Wow. What a race. Wow. I'm sorry you can't talk, Bob, but I'm so proud of you today. Love <laughs> you. That's going to be one popular victory. Look at that team. Are they excited or what? Uh, Jeremy Bullard. A big shove coming from the middle. Daniel Suarez in the 99. He gets turned into the four, and they go into the wall. The next flag will end the race. And there is the caution flag. Ryan Blaney wins. The big accident happens behind him. Checkered flag and his first runs to win. Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes it over Jeff Gordon. Traffic ahead. Kyle Busch, the leader. Look at this. Carl Look at Edwards, this. right Look there. At this. Moves wow. him to win it. Carl yeah, Edwards, yeah. bump and dump and run. Oh, God. How oh, did no. he pull that off? That's a teammate. He drove a great race. Oh, amazing did. race. He did. He worked traffic perfect, perfectly. He was looking in his mirror. He's doing everything he needed to do. Not sure he expected that either. Taking I, home the checkered flag. Today's Sunoco fueling victory. Earnhardt, Bush, Elliott, and Bain for the top five. Checkered flag in the air. Carl Edwards dominates Bristol. What I'm talking about. Great work, guys. I've got to wonder how tense this all had to be for Carl Edwards, knowing how much trouble his teammates uh -oh. had. Uh-oh. Spot the landing, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's, it's on the banking. Woo, perfect. Yeah. The timeliest of wins for Casey Kane, who punches his ticket into the chase for the NASCAR and Sprint Cup. Edwards and Stewart going to go to the season finale. Oh, so close in the championship. Today, though, at Phoenix, it's about Casey Kane and Red Bull Racing scoring the win, breaking a long dry spell. Casey Kane wins the Cobalt Tools 500. From the age of five, Kyle Larson has only wanted to be a race car driver. And now, as he comes to the checkered flag, Kyle Larson's going to win in the Sprint Cup Series. He's getting closer in the mirror. Down the back stretch for the final time. There's going to be a lap car on the inside. Not going to allow Truex to run that low line that he wants to run. Kyle Larson a year ago watched the race from North Carolina. Today, he's a Cup Series champion. Oh my God, guys! Yes! He will get his first win here at O'Reilly Raceway Park, and he will be the man that delivers Toyota its first victory in the NASCAR Bus Series. There it is, the checker. Great job. Good job, everybody. Good call, Lozzi. Good call. Everybody help. That's the deal. Good for everybody. Hey, boys, this is all for you guys, man. Good job, Lozzi. You deserve this, bud. We're going to victory lane. Craftsman Truck Series win in the ASE CarQuest Dodge. Down the back stretch he goes. Under a half of a mile to go for Jason Leffler. How about he... Dennis Connor coming on board first race? Call it, Rick. He comes out of turn number four, and the MBNA Armed Forces Family 200 champion crosses the start finish line. Yeah, good job. Look how close it is with Montoya right behind Kevin Harvick. 
Does he have enough time to get there? Tony Stewart with a push from Bobby Labonte. Mears is third. Reagan is fourth. Here comes Labonte on the outside. They come to the trial. We'll remember the start finish line is here. And they get it. Yeah. And what a run by Bobby Labonte. What an effort by the former Cup Series Good champion job, and Bush Series champion. His biggest victory of all. Bobby Labonte from Corpus Christi, Texas wins the seventh Brick Yard 400 at Indianapolis. Towards the front of the pack, David Reagan to the bottom of the racetrack. David Gilliland's right behind him in three. A pair of front row motorsports drivers. They are down to the bottom. Reagan by a half a car length over Carl Edwards. Teammate David Gilliland to the bottom. Reagan leads them back into the trail for the final time. They are leaning on one another, coming back to the start finish line. Up front, it is David Reagan all by himself. Here he comes through the trial, and David Reagan has won here at Talladega. He wins the Aaron's 499. David Gilliland comes home second. Carl Edwards third. If you make the pass, you don't want to make it too early. Here we go. We got to see Junior go here. Oh, oh here, Tony he comes. here comes Tony Ray to the inside. Junior up high. David Reagan is there. And here and comes Reagan David Reagan. It. How about Joey Logano coming in third? David Reagan make, gets the win at Talladega. Wow. Unbelievable. He's got to run down the inside. Park blocks him a little bit. Couldn't block him. All right, Bobby, he's off early. He's off early. He's going to gas it hard. And here they're going to come to the line. It's going to be a photo finish. Park has the run off the high side. He clears the body. And Steve Park scores the second straight win for Earnhardt Incorporated and the second win of his career. Man, what a great finish. Steve Park in the Jasper Engines and Transmissions, number 62. That puts him in some elite company field, winning on all three of NASCAR's big stages. Steve Park is the latest winner of a truck race. Comes to the checkered flag and Steve Park will win the American Racing Wheels 200. All right, that's fun stuff right there. Doesn't look like anybody's got anything spectacular planned as Kenny Irwin Jr. takes it through three and four and heads for home in front of 50,000 Texans. Biggest crowd ever to watch a truck race. Take off the gold, his second career victory. He will improve on his fifth place ranking in the series in a race that has been very hard on the championship front runners here this season. What a great run for Kenny Irwin. Jack Gordon completes lap number 187 in the lead. Skinner is second. Kenny Irwin down on the low side in third. Ward Burton up high and losing spots. Can Mike Skinner make a move? And can Kenny Irwin make a move? They're down the back stretch for the final time. Gordon keeps the car low on the racetrack. Nobody makes a move yet. Will anyone make the move before they hit the start finish line? Now Kenny Irwin looks to the inside of Mike Skinner. Nothing going there. Dale Earnhardt is up on the high side. In the battle for third position, he's got a good run up there. Remember what Mike Skinner said? He'd wreck his mother to win a race. Let's see what happens. Gordon has the lead as they come down through the trioval. And Jeff Gordon.